Hi, eighth grade. Today we're doing quadratic functions, and that is lesson 9-2. We're going to be working on page 541 to start. Our gotta check is gonna be on page 542, number one. And I just want you to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. You don't have to graph it completely. And then your homework is going to be page 544, number seven to 15, and your bell ringer in three sentences is page 540, number 60. Let's get started on quadratic functions. So I have started by writing out uh, our standard form for quadratic functions. And this format is really important because what we're going to find is that if we write out a quadratic in this form, we can use this format to find things like our axis of symmetry and our vertex of the graph without even seeing the graph. We can just do it from the equation. So standard form of a quadratic is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And a, b, and c are the constant and of course the coefficients that go in place with these terms. So we're going to be using those in order to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Let's start with the axis of symmetry. So our axis of symmetry, remember, is always a vertical line and it divides the parabola into two symmetrical parts. Our axis of symmetry is always um, an x equals equation and that is because it's a vertical line. It goes straight up and down. Those lines are x equals lines. What we're going to find is the axis of symmetry has a special formula and that formula is negative b divided by 2a. So we can use the coefficients that are in these two positions to find the axis of symmetry. What we're going to find is that this middle term b will shift our parabola to the left and the right. So if we have one, that is what is going to call us a left and a right shift. We can also find the vertex of any parabola. And remember, the vertex is the maximum or the minimum of a parabola, depending on whether you've got a happy parabola pointed up or a sad one pointed down. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our value for x and find y. And then our vertex is always going to be a coordinate point. So it's always going to be an xy coordinate point. Let's try an example. So I'm working on problem one on page 542. So this example gives us the equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 4. And the good news is, is that this is already written in standard form for us. So I should be able to find both the axis of symmetry and the vertex. So let's start with the AOS or the axis of symmetry. Okay, I'm going to use this formula, negative b over 2a, and I need to decide what coefficients are in the b and a position. Well, the b is really easy to find. That's our negative 6 right here. But what about the a? There's nothing in front of the x. And remember, if there's nothing in front of the x, that means that it is 1x. So there's that little invisible one there. So let's plug into the formula. So in this case, that means I'm going to have negative, and then I have to plug my negative 6 in for b. Plug into parentheses, it will save your life. And then 2 times 1, because 1 was in the a position, is going to go on the bottom. So let's solve this. So two negative signs together, shushing, they become a positive, and I end up with 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the equation for my axis of symmetry is x equals 3, and that is the vertical line that divides our parabola. Next, let's find our vertex. So in order to find our vertex, I'm just going to take our original equation, and I'm going to plug in 3 for all the x values. So I end up with y equals 3 squared, plugging in for x, minus 6 times 3, and then plus 4, okay? 
Let's see what this turns out to be. So three squared is nine minus 18, which is six times three plus four. So if I do this, nine minus 18 would be negative nine and negative nine plus four would be negative five. So now I can do my coordinate point. My coordinate point is three from our X value in the axis of symmetry and our Y value of negative five. And I'm done. All right, let's try our gotta check. And I have misplaced my red marker here. I think I'm gonna find it. I think it's down on the bottom. I always do my gotta checks in my red marker. Mm. Your gotta check is on page 542. And we are doing gotta check number 1A. Remember, just the axis of symmetry and the vertex. So my equation is y equals negative x squared this time plus 4x minus 2. Okay, pause the video, come back when you're ready. All right, let's start by finding the axis of symmetry for this one. So axis of symmetry, I'm going to use the for formula x equals negative b over 2a. Let's see what's in my position. So I have a negative x squared, so my a is gonna be negative one. Remember, when there's nothing in front of there, there's a little invisible one. And my b, I have four in the b position. So this is gonna look like negative four, all divided by two times negative one, okay? If I simplify this, this would give me negative four divided by negative two and that, of course, equals 2. So that means my axis of symmetry equals 2. Okay? Next up, let's do the vertex. So my vertex, I'm going to plug this 2 into my equation over here. So I have negative 2 squared, then plus 4 times 2, minus 2. And let's see what I come up with. Negative 2 squared, this would be negative 4 plus 8. That would give me negative, uh, that would give me 4, and then 4 minus 2. This expression would equal 2. So that means my y value equals 2. So my coordinate point is 2 from the axis of symmetry. There we go. And 2 as the y value. So my axis of symmetry is two comma two. All right, it's time to try your homework. So remember, your homework is page 544, number seven to 15, and your bell ringer in three sentences, page 540, number 60. Bye, eighth grade, see you tomorrow.